In our last video, we told you guys how good the new M1 Mac Mini is for gaming. And there were, we had a lot of questions on that video of how to use and set up OBS and game capture card software and hardware. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today in this video. Hope you enjoy and let's get straight into it. And he's now 13. I am 13. If you didn't watch the previous video, here's a link and we'll link it down below as well. So okay. enjoy. I don't know why I'm waving. We're about to... Okay. Uh. We're in Charles's lair. What are we going to show him first? All right, so first we're going to show you OBS, how to install it and how to use it. Excellent. Okay, so how do we connect first? What do we need to connect? We're going to need to connect with HDMI uh, for one of my monitors and USB-C for the other one of my monitors. Okay, so we're now connected up. So Charles has got his Mac Mini M1 down here. We've got one screen connected via HDMI, one by USB-C, and the one on the right is showing uh, a game of Minecraft, which is just running from the, from the Mac itself. The one on the left, we're now going to connect OBS. Now, there's different types of OBS. Charles, what does OBS stand for? OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. Okay. And what is the one you use? Because from what you told me, there are many different versions. There are two different versions that I know of. Okay. Um, the one that I use is called OBS Streamlabs. Uh, and that one is the better one for streaming, in my opinion, and it's easier to use. Okay, so how do you find it and what do you do with it? So basically, all you need to do to install it is go to Safari. And once you've done that, search up Streamlabs OBS. That should come up with a few links. Click on the top one and then hit Download Streamlabs. After that, it should be in your downloads folder, and then you just need to open it up and, you know, properly install it. After that, go to your applications folder and you should see Streamlabs OBS. Click on that and then it will take you to the app. You need to add a source like I am here. Display capture, add source. Size it to the proper size of your screen because it is sometimes a bit glitchy on Mac and it does that. And once you've done that, then you're good to go. You're just able to record on OBS. You can also add many other things like I am here, my camera. This is good for streaming if you want all of your viewers to engage with you. As you can see, I'm just readjusting it to the size I want. All right, and then hit go live and then stream to whatever you want. You do need to link your channel though, be that on Twitch or on YouTube. And then you're good to go. Okay, so that's OBS completed. Hopefully everyone now knows how to do that. Now we're gonna show you how to connect a console, a PlayStation, an Xbox, any console, and screen record that via the game capture card. So Charles, what do we need to do? Okay, so first off we need to go to the website and download it, and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So before you go onto the website and download the software, what's the game capture card that we're actually using? Okay, so we're using the HD60S, but you must check before you download which one that you are using because it varies between which one you have, obviously. So who makes it? Elgato. Okay, and it looks like under the desk here. Okay, so this is the power slash data cable that goes all the way up to the Mac. Um, it's USB-C into the USB uh, up there. And then this here is the HDMI, which is an input, which is taking it from the output of the Xbox there. Okay. And that's all? And that's all. It's okay. literally that simple. What's that one there for? Um, so that there is the output, and that would usually go to your external monitor, but we are using something quite clever, and we are actually just using the software to look at what we're doing. Okay. All right. Let's get back into it then. So now I'm going to show you how to install the Elgato Game Capture software. This will work with your HD60S or S+. Alright, so type Elgato software, click on the first link, and then select your product. It should automatically be on whatever you're on, be that Mac or Windows. Select your model and then hit the download icon. Let that download for a little bit and then it should be in your downloads folder. Go to applications and then hit Game Capture HD. It should then boot it up. You might want to click the hammer and spanner though, because you need to click allow 60fps and also allow 60fps in the render. 
Also select what console you're on, make it go full screen and then you can record, stream or turn on your commentary. Okay, so I'm playing Rocket League here and as you can see it's working pretty well. There we go, I start recording now. If you just leave it, it will go full screen. And you're good to go yet again. Okay, so this one is a bit of a bonus. What we're gonna show you here is what we've had uh, even more questions about, which is using OBS to stream to the outside world, but using the Elgato and the uh, software and the game capture card to capture everything from the Xbox or the gaming from the Xbox. So first of all, Charles has got specially dressed up in his pajamas. I have. <laughs> and secondly, let's go under the table to check how we're connected. So this time Xbox Series S, coming out with the HDMI cable, running straight into the Elgato HD60S in the input, and then the output from here is um, USB-C, up to the top of the desk and into the Mac Mini. Okay, so Charles, what are we seeing here on the screens exactly? Okay, so as you can see here, this is game capture. Okay, and, and what's this feed on the screen? Where's that coming from? That's coming from Elgato through my Xbox. Okay. And we're recording this screen over here on OBS here. Okay. And basically that should answer all your problems. Um, all your questions? All your questions and problems. <laughs> <laughs> because um, you can add all your overlays, you can do anything you want on this. You can add a camera overlay and then you can just stream that back out. Yeah. Now, I know you've seen some issues though. So what issue have you seen when you're doing this? So um, the FPS is quite a lot slower. Um, but that shouldn't really matter if you're on, uh, if you're streaming. Yeah, for the output maybe, but if you're gaming on this one, does it have any effect when you're actually in your own game? Um, not too much. As no. long as you have, as long as you've enabled 60 FPS, then it should be fine. Okay, but it's definitely not 120, is it? No, 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 no. It doesn't allow you to do that. It's just not, it's a bit glitchy. Yeah. So, okay, well, I think that's it. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem, see you later. I think, uh... That hopefully will answer all of your questions. If you've got some more, then fire them to us in the comments and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you took something away from this. We're so close to 500 subs. 500,000 subs? We're not. We're close <laughs> to 500 subs. So I really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. Um, we'd love to get to 1,000, but we're nearly at 500. Halfway. We're halfway. Mm. Wait, wait, copyright. Let us know if you've got any more questions because uh, this has been fun to do. It's been a bit of a challenge because we had to rewire some stuff, which you didn't see, but that's fine because you don't need to. We found the wrong way, then the right way to do it. But, you know, if you've got any questions, fire them over. We'll try and answer them. We'll try and get back to everybody who comments uh, and see what the next video brings. All right, then. See, see you later. You. Bye. Uh, uh, no, my microphone. <laughs>